Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Kind of following on from the last video with regards to packing, we are literally about to leave for the airport, but when you're watching this, we're like two, three days from leaving. But I thought I would share like my must-haves for hand luggage when you're traveling on an airplane. So I am a backpack wearer because it's just easier. I always take a little like handbaggy type type bag as well. This is my new one it's from ASOS, which is really cool little satchel. I say satchel, it's really small, like a clutch bag, but it's got like a seat belt strap on it, which can be shortened, so it looks like a bum bag style, or you can wear it long. But I always have a bag like this that I can put all my important stuff in. So money, passport, paperwork, paracetamol, chewing gum. You know the things that you don't want to be like scrambling in your bag for? Those are the things I would put in that so you can get to them really quickly or you know where they are. If you have got like a backpack that's only got like one thing at the back. So that is something that I find really useful when I'm travelling. And usually I'll use that as like my bag when I'm away like my night bag to go with all the outfits definitely don't forget your passport when you are traveling make sure you've done your online check-in if that is an option for you and make sure your case isn't weighing over because we've all been there and we've all been charged extra because our case is way too much or oh, is that just me probably just me nah, can't be can't be so also in my hand luggage backpack, we are um, like laptop or tablet users. So we will always take our tablets with us that are loaded up with like films and programs and everything else we would want to watch on a plane just in case there isn't a telly in the screen if you're not going long haul um, or if there's just nothing on that you fancy or if you're like behind on a series or whatever. So we always download from Netflix or Amazon or whatever and you can use them for offline mode as well. So that's really handy, especially if you're travelling with kids and stuff, um, you know, not necessarily always for yourself. Jokes, this is for me. But yeah, with <coughs> you can download like kids programmes or whatever as well, I, I assume. Don't know, don't watch kids shows, but yeah, handy. Um, I also take my Kindle as well, so in case I did fancy a read. Back to this one a sec. Headphones are a necessity. I'm an over-ear headphone wearer, so I've got the Bose noise-cancelling headphones. They're not the wireless ones, they're the wired ones, but I just find they're easier for linking up to your laptop like really quickly because it's just a plug-in aux, whereas the wireless ones you'll have to like have Bluetooth on and so maybe your battery won't last as long. There can be pr problems with connection and stuff. So I've got the wired ones. I have got wireless ones for the gym, but I prefer the wired ones from the plane, especially with the noise cancelling. They are really good. If you are traveling or if you travel a lot and you haven't got noise cancelling headphones, I would definitely advise you get some or like recommend that if you have got a bit of spare money and that's what you want to spend it on, they are way worth the money. With those as well, they also take a battery, so we always put in a couple of extra batteries just in case they um, the noise cancelling goes off. You can still use them as normal headphones, but it's if the noise cancelling finishes and there's a kid crying three rows behind you, you would be good if you haven't put extra batteries in. But there's a little space in these in this box for a battery. So also in there, I've got my um, splitter. So in case me and Mark want to watch the same thing, it's super easy. It's I think it's from ASOS or somewhere like that. So it's got two aux plugs at the top. It's not focusing on it because it wants to focus on me. But anyway, there's two aux plugs at the top and one at the bottom. So you can use that super easy. Obviously you can get plain ones. You don't have to have a cactus core cool one like me. But yeah, that we find that they're really handy as well, especially if you are going on a long flight or if you're watching the same thing. If your laptop's big enough, why don't you just share? Because it's saving battery. Handy, definitely handy. We've been we've had that for the last couple of years, and it's been it's been great. If we are like watching the same show, but we have been known to both have our tablets open and go three, two, one, bang. 
so we're like not seeing each other he's five minutes ahead of me or vice versa and you know i'm seeing the spoilers or whatever so that's also a uh, little tip that i take on my travels there's like standard stuff like mints um if you're not a flyer or if you don't fly very often having something to like chew or suck when you're taking off and landing is a real help with the ears so definitely something like that another big thing that we always take with us on holiday are um our reusable water bottles you can take you can travel with these um you are using less plastic you can you are saving money because there's always like refillable stations like if you go to a bar or a restaurant they'll fill it up if there's not like a jug or a decanter thing on the side you can take these through as long as they're empty when you go through security just take the lid off put them in your tray with everything else and you can take these through and if you are going somewhere hot the best thing about them is it keeps your water cold all day so if you put cold water in them your your water will stay cold for 12 hours so if someone else has got a plastic bottle not one of the litter in the planet they also will have warm water and you will have nice cold water um these bottles we have are from chilies and they are great we would recommend if you don't have one definitely get one they're like i think they're about 15 20 pounds something like that we've got quite big ones we've got the 750 mil ones um because we drink a lot of water again they're another alternative to drink water when you're taking off and landing to stop your ears so the more you can swallow the better um yeah like i said we've got snacks snacks pringles take up less space than normal crisps in your backpack <laughs> so that's why we go for these i'm like i think they're my favorite crisps Yeah, so Pringles take up less space. Obviously, they don't expand like bags will expand on the plane if it's a sealed, like walkers or whatever. Um, chocolate, some sweets. Right, so we have just invested in, I saw an advert on Instagram and we've just invested in these. They were like seven quid from Amazon and they are foot hammocks. So you hang this bit over the tray in front of you. Close the tray. You don't. Have, you can have it open or closed. So if it, even if you don't want the tray open, you can put it closed. And you can put your feet into the hammock bit at the bottom. So it kind of like helps you curl up into a ball. You know, like when you're trying to get comfortable or like struggling to sleep on a plane. That's what these are supposed to help with. This is the first flight we'll be taking with the hammocks. And I will put it in my first sri lanka vlog of how we get on with them so keep an eye out for that but yeah the, if these work like they say they work or make your flight more comfortable this is going to change the my flying experience especially if you're on a long flight or a night flight um yeah you can make them longer and shorter so depending on how high up you want your knees that it sounds ideal they weigh like nothing they crumple down into nothing you can roll them off they literally if that works keep an eye out they were literally like i said seven pound from amazon or something like that i'll put a link in the description and uh, hopefully they will we our flights at night so we'll need to try and get some sleep so i'm hoping it's gonna be fantastico so yeah along with that i always take an eye mask as well do not disturb because you know in the middle of the night Again, if you're a flyer, you'll know. If you're not a frequent flyer, then you won't know that they leave the lights on. So while they're doing like the cart services, like the food and the drinks, duty free, whatever, they leave the lights on for the air hostesses and air hosts. So if you are trying to get some sleep and the lights are on, take an eye mask for sure. Um, what else do I have? So again, we have got a suitcase this time. Not When we travel like to Turkey and stuff, because we go there quite frequently, we would only take hand luggage. So make sure all your liquids are under 100 mil. But if they're not, and you are taking a suitcase, obviously you can put all your big stuff, shampoos, conditioners, sun cream, whatever, into your suitcase. And 
the things I take in my little plastic baggie for the plane, you know, the, you, the one you have to go through, the, all the hun, under 100, blah, 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 blah. all the liquids that are under 100 mil that you travel with on the plane in your backpack or in your bag or whatever. I will always take some toner for my face. I use Dermalogica, so ch -ch -ch. keep your skin nice and hydrated throughout your flight because the oxygen, there's something to do with the air that makes the air, obviously, my skin goes really tight, my eyes go dry, my lips go dry on a flight, so spray my skin with toner throughout the flight. If you've got makeup on, you can put it on over your makeup. If you haven't got makeup on, then crack on. I also take some eye mist as well, so because as, as I said, my eyes do get dry on a flight, so you keep your eyes closed, ch -ch -ch -ch, and it will help with the moisture in your eyes. Again, another lip thing, because of the dry lips, take some lip silk, keep applying it throughout your flight, those are like three essentials for me. I have got a little bit of tinted moisturiser on today, and... I am going to take a little bottle of micellar water and some cotton pads as well just to take it all off. So I might pop a bit of, um, I've got a small miniature Dermalogica moisturiser as well. So I will pop that in my little baggie so I can take my, moist take my makeup off on the flight later and put some moisturiser on. Then put my own mask on and then take a nap. Also handy, packets of tissues and wet wipes if you are travelling with like kids and stuff. Another thing I always put in my suitcase, in, in my hand luggage, if we are landing at day, in daytime or if we're going somewhere hot and it's, we're going from cold, like today, I am going to be putting my flip-flops into my backpack so I can take my trainers off on the plane and put my flip-flops on. I don't like being too hot when I get there, so I will be taking my trainers off, putting my flip-flops on, being comfortable. Comfort is key. Make sure you take something warm. I always put my, I've got like a woolly cardigan that I always take on the plane and I can, it's massive so I can either use it as a blanket or if I don't want to wear it and it is so comfortable and warm, it's light grey so it will go with everything if I needed to wear it on a night when I'm on holiday. Yeah so I'm travelling in an oversized dress but I'm also travelling in some cycling shorts underneath so when I do get there I can whip the dress off if needs be and I've got my cycling shorts on underneath and I'll probably put in a small t-shirt or a vest or something into my bag so I've got like a holiday outfit when I get there and also my sunglasses will be in my backpack because it will be midday when we arrive and it'll probably be about 35 degrees so we're going from like 6 degrees to 35 so I need to be organised. So other than my camera and my phone and usually most flights now have a USB in the back of the seat so put your phone charger in as well if you do listen to your music, make sure your phone's on airplane mode obviously. Download your music as well for offline mode because some people forget and then they've got no music to listen to if you've got um, if you've got Spotify or Apple Music or whatever. Make sure it's downloaded for offline mode. Those are my tips for hand luggage and travelling on a flight and what to take with you in your backpack. So those are like my little things I take. If you've got anything else that you suggest or anything, any different ideas, put it in the comments below and I will reshare them as well with everyone else. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.